well and having a beautiful start to your day and your week. I've had a computer heavy morning just getting some editing out of the way and some other computer work which we'll need to spend more time in the office later this afternoon but I wanted to say hello. I baked some sourdough this morning which smells so fabulous if I do say so myself. It just really creates a beautiful scent in our home so that's exciting and we have some friends coming over later for homemade pasta night which we haven't done in probably a month or two we were really on a kick for a while making it every single week but we have that later so soon i want to make some homemade pesto because we have so much basil in the garden so we can prep that ahead of time so i'm not <laughs> have too much to do um to prepare for dinner so We'll do that soon and some other home and work stuff, but I'm looking forward to spending time with you all. pesto turned out it is kind of chunky unfortunately because I don't have a food processor so I used the blender which I typically use to do stuff like this but since the amount I put in there wasn't really dense enough for the blender it was kind of underneath the blade if that makes sense so yeah, I think I might try to add more basil and do a second batch and maybe that'll help it. But I could also use a fork or mortar and pestle to kind of crunch the pine nuts a bit more and blend it. I don't know. To be determined, but it smells fabulous. It's time for a iced coffee break. And I mentioned this a few vlogs ago, but I've been trying out a bottomless porta filter. This is what it looks like. So essentially there's no spouts on the bottom like our other porta filter. Let me show you side by side again. So it's completely bottomless, which can make for a more complex and beautiful pull in your espresso, but it also takes some finesse. So I haven't had any luck in making a beautiful pull. So I'm still trying to figure it out, but my friend on here, Alex, she suggested this filter. So I ordered it and essentially you put this on top. I guess it just helps filter the water to be more evenly distributed. So we'll give it a try and hope for the best. But worst case scenario, I have some leftover morning coffee so we can just have that instead if it doesn't work out. Still chaotic. Still very chaotic. Oh no. Oh no, that's so sad. Look at the mess. Oh my, looks like a crime scene. Sheesh. Okay, but there is a better crema this time. So maybe we're getting a little closer. A 
least the coffee is still super tasty. Maybe I'll get the bottomless porta filter down someday, but I feel as though it might be my bean freshness, that's a possibility, or it could be my grind size, but I have it on the finest grind setting on my on my uh, coffee bean grinder. So I really don't know, but we're gonna persevere. We're gonna keep trying, but I'm just gonna sip on this and get some more computer work out of the way. But I wanted to thank Squarespace for partnering with me in sponsoring this portion of today's video. I absolutely adore Squarespace. I've used them for years and years, ever since I was in college. And I really feel like it's such an incredible platform where you can visually share your life and your work and your business. It really has been such an incredible tool for me and my personal business and I really appreciate their user-friendly platform. And I love that you can display posts from your social profiles on your website so that you can automatically push website content to your favorite social media channels so that your audience can share it and see it. And I just really love this feature because it streamlines everything and kind of pushes the information and gets the word out there. So I absolutely love that. And you can also sell your own products through Squarespace via an online store. And I've been trying to keep my website updated as much as possible. So I have all of our Greece information on there if you're hoping to plan a trip there. And I have a lot of our other past trips where I link itineraries and where we stayed and it's kind of like a hub where you can find all of the information and all of my tips for that specific destination and i also have our sourdough bread recipe on there and a lot of other hopefully useful and beneficial content so i've had so much fun with my personal squarespace website and i feel like you would as well so you can head to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, you can go to squarespace.com slash Allison Bickerstaff to save 10% on your first purchase of a website or a domain. Friday and we have a beautiful Friday planned. I woke up I woke up today just so excited and the sun is shining. I'm feeling really good. So I'm really thankful for that. And last night was super fun. We played games, we ate pasta. We've just really curated a beautiful week with the plans that we've had. So I'm really just so thankful for that. And I showed you this morning the caterpillars. If you've missed it, I have been trying to raise caterpillars, monarch butterfly caterpillars or monarch caterpillars, I guess you would say. And it's been such an exciting adventure. I check on them every morning and I change out their little home with fresh leaves and everything. So that has been really exciting. I'll keep you updated, but I have a net coming this weekend that I'm gonna transfer them over to because right now they're in mason jars, but I'll transfer them over to this net with a whole milkweed plant, which milkweed is their host plant. Anyways, I could talk about these caterpillars for hours. I just find them so incredibly fascinating. So it's been a little science project over here, but I showed you a peek of how they're doing this morning. But today, so for the morning and early afternoon, 
gotta get some work done of course wrap it up for the weekend and there is one home project i want to do so i ordered a new living room rug because our current living room rug has been through the ringer we got it right when palmer was a puppy or right before and you know a puppy and a rug it's just not a match made in heaven <laughs> it's it's seen better days and i actually ordered the same rug it's just bigger and newer, which Brandon was like, why would you order the same rug if it's falling apart? But I really do believe it's a great rug. It's just, yeah, it's just seen better days. So we're gonna do a rug refresh. And basically I wanna clear the whole living room. I, I kinda have to, but once we clear the living room, I wanna vacuum, excuse me, vacuum and mop the living room because I never do that under the rug because it's incredibly inconvenient. So. We'll go ahead and do that while we have the opportunity and get that, out of the, get that out of the way. I've had the rug sitting in my office for about a week now. I've kind of been putting it off because it is a little daunting of a hassle, but it'll it'll be worth it, Fresh, freshen up the space a bit. But that's sort of the plan for this morning. And then this afternoon and evening, we are going to have a persuasion picnic and watch party. So I'm going over to my friend Liz's house and we are going to go to Trader Joe's, get some flowers, and we're going to set up this cute picnic scene. And we're going to watch Persuasion, which is a Jane Austen. It's based off of the Jane Austen novel, which I have been reading. I'm only about a third of the way through. I'm really hoping to finish today. I've been listening to it on the audiobook as well as the physical book. I've just been bouncing back and forth. But the audiobook is great because while I'm doing everything in the living room this morning and setting up the new rug I can listen to it so hopefully I'll be able to finish before tonight I still have a bit to go I might need to notch up the speed of the audiobook but that's the plan I'm really looking forward to it and after the picnic we'll watch the movie that came out on Netflix based off of the novel so that's the rundown of today but I'm really looking forward to it and excited to spend some more time with you all
got ready a little bit. I'm gonna do my eye makeup and everything later. And I just heat up some leftover pasta. Yum, yum, yum. I never updated you on the basil. <laughs> it just turned out very chunky. I was never able to blend it super well and make it all small and like traditional basil, but the flavor, so good. I definitely wanna do that more often. I've kind of forgot. I keep saying basil. I meant to say pesto. I keep forgetting about making pesto, but with all the basil we have out in the garden, it's definitely something that should be a weekly occurrence, I believe. the movie I don't know like 15 minutes ago I fell asleep while watching persuasion which I feel so silly I just was so comfy I yeah but from what I saw I enjoyed it I will be watching it again because I want to watch it in its entirety and I still I didn't finish the book but I absolutely want to as well because I want to see how accurate it was to the book and everything like that but it was a really sweet day we had such a beautiful picnic and just time together so i'm really really thankful and I'm so thankful for you all i really hope you're having a beautiful day and i hope you have a beautiful rest of your week and i cannot wait to see you next bye say bye buddy say bye <laughs>